This is take two. I promised in the video I was going to show you Lexi with two of the little kittens. They're laying here at the front door. And I couldn't find the video, so I thought, look at that little one. Before the Dollar Tree. The haul starts, I thought I'd just show you some of my kittens. Last night's video, you know, I'm up early. My boys still haven't woke up. I took a break. I had a change because I had what I call my house dress on and it was bugging me for some reason. Does anybody else ever do that? They put something on. It's bugging them. I love it, but it wasn't right for me today. So I just went and changed into something lighter where I feel a little bit better. And while my video is uploading, I thought well, I'll come back and do another Dollar Tree haul because... I think we may have fairly good weather in Omi, and I plan on getting outside too some today, so I don't know when we'll get together on one of these. I took all my grocery items from last night's haul in the kitchen, and while I was in there, I picked up this because in last night's video, I showed you some granola clusters, non-GMO, all-natural, made with organic coconut oil, no artificial flavors, no added colors, good source of fiber, 120 calories for a fourth of a cup. It's five ounces, almonds and raisins. I've actually got into these. I got into these last night. I told you I had more than uh, one pack. I just showed one pack last, in last night's video. But I wanted to show you what I was talking about. When I say they're not really clusters, I don't know. I don't know how much you can see in there. They're, uh, yeah, I don't know how, but how I'm going to show this to you. But they're not really clusters. And they're good, but as far as the almond and the raisins, unless they're all at the very, very bottom, because I haven't took them out of the bag, there's some in there. Enough for my yogurt. There is. But if you're buying it mainly for the almonds and raisins, I'd say it's mainly granola. It is. But they're good. And it was good on my yogurt. I get the Greek uh, vanilla flavored yogurt. So I vouch for these as far as taste. The fruit and nuts may not be as much, but it's plenty of granola. And it's not really so much cluster, but it's it's good, yeah. So I bought one, of, one this flavor. I had sat these two bags back, at, back here and I said I'll get it in the next video. I hope I'm a little bit more lively than I was earlier. 5.30 is early for me, it is. Uh, when I was working, that was late for me. But I've not been able to work in several years, so yeah, it's not early. I mean, it's not late for me anymore. I was talking on the last video about if I don't have my tissues, that I'll grab a roll of toilet paper and put it in the car for my nose because I, I have a chronic sinus condition that I got, like I said, after I got sick and had my brain hemorrhage. But what better tissue to take in the car with you than the lavender scent? <laughs> yeah, lavender scent. Some people may say, well, Angie, maybe between... Uh, your uh, perfumes that you get at the Dollar Tree or the uh, incense you get, because I'm burning one now at the Dollar Tree, or the scented stuff you get. Maybe that's why your allergies are so bad. No. I have this without all this stuff. So why, why deprive myself of my lavender or my incense when I know I'm going to be doing this anyway? So I decided I'd light my <laughs> incense might wake me up a little bit. Second cup of coffee. It's starting to get daylight. Second cup of coffee. And show you toilet paper. What better way to start the morning? 
I will tell you that uh, the tissue that my daughter uses at home, which is Cottonelle, I really like it. But when I go to the Dollar Tree, I will pick up these to put in the stockpile. I do like the scent of them. You don't really have to have scented toilet paper, no. But if you can get it, why not? So I got one. I needed, I already said I'm doing a lot of decluttering. I also need to do a lot of scrubbing in my house. I do. And I've got scrub buddies. I've got uh, microfiber cloths. I've got so many different cleaning products. But I thought, I'll try this too. It's two packs, scrub buddies, sponges. I got two of those. I thought this right here would really cut dirt and grime, if you know what I mean. It's kind of metallic feeling. The other side is more of a mesh type, more of a, I guess, easier on your uh, products. My tub is awful. We usually take showers and stuff, but still soap scum builds up. I've got all kinds of different cleaning products, but there's a couple of places. I actually want to try these on to see if they'll finish getting the soap scum off. So I got one of those. Don't remember if I've ever bought these before. They're also scrub buddies. They're scrubbing pads. There's a three pack in them. And I should tell you, um, let me see here. Are they both Greenbrier products? Yeah, they're both Greenbrier products. But there's three in here. Not only did I need to clean inside, but I've got animal stuff that I need to clean. A lot of times when I use these things for my animals, they don't, I wear them out fairly easy because I do big areas of cleaning. So I went ahead and got three of these. Which rooms I'm going to use these in, I can't tell you. I just know I want to try them. And if I try them and remember to tell you, I'll come back. The other night, I showed you one of these. And I told you that more likely it was too light for my skin. And it was because I tried it yesterday. Uh, but I found the Thick Stick Foundation Shade. And I know it's going to be too dark or more likely too dark. It's called Brown Sugar by Revlon. I, I will tell you I like the coverage of it, and that's one reason I bought it, because I've had rosacea for years, and I have some places, well, we all have blemishes and stuff on our faces, and I wanted to see if it was thick enough to cover some of those blemishes, and I will tell you it was. It was just too light. I looked a little pasty, but I thought, I know this is going to be little bit darker. I hope you can see it because I'm still in my living room. You see, this is the color. But I thought if I mixed it with the vanilla, I might get the right shade. It's not too bad when you, and it, it blends in really good. So if you really dark skinned, I would suggest trying it for a dollar. I would. I made sure I took it out of the car too because if I don't, it'll melt. One thing about it, I'm bad to sit stuff in my car when I have hauls, so I don't misplace it before I do them. But these I made sure I brought in the house because if I don't, I know the sun will melt it. But yeah, it it covers, but you can tell it's a dark shade. It's too dark for my skin, but I'm going to try mixing it with the vanilla just to see. If I think about it, I'll bring you back at the end of the video and show you what it does with the vanilla, if I remember. I got these little eraser pens. Hug your pencil. And I got it because it had like alligators and um, I thought at one point it had like dinosaurs in it, but I'm not sure it's dinosaurs. I might just thought in my head that day it was dinosaurs in here, but it looks like more alligators and I'm not sure what else. But I bought a pack of these. They hug the pencil. I actually bought them for a little girl in mine that loves dinosaurs, but I think she'll like these too. I'll say, I'm sorry, honey. These aren't dinosaurs, but they're cute. And they uh, it shows how they hug your pencil right there. So I got one of those. I happened to see them. I liked them. So I got them. Uh, my hair's getting longer. And I've been wearing it up quite a bit in the clip, only because it's easy for me. 
but I think sometimes the clip might be a little bit too heavy back here. I'm not pulling it real tight, but I think that might be a lot of my problem, aggravating my head. So I got me some little ponytail holders, I did. There was a hundred in here, and I just got the one that had the mostest, as they say, that are thinner. And a friend of mine told me one time, said, Angie, it might be long enough you can put little pigtails. I may do that one day just for her, Jan, if you're watching. I may do me some little pigtails with these little ponytail holders, but I bought these for me and when the girls come, a hundred of them. You can not just use them for ponytails. If you've got stuff that you need a rubber band for, you can uh, rubber band stuff together with these. They're fairly strong. You see, I'm pulling, I'm pulling quite a bit. But these were the thinner ones, which I like. My hair's kind of thin, and I didn't want to have anything real heavy in it. So I just bought one of these, and I got the neutral colors, the black and the brown, because that's the way I roll. They have other colors and different ones, but that's the one I got. Uh, I, the other day when I was going to trim my bangs, and I told you last night I found, I still got them over there, the green handle scissors that come from the Dollar Tree. So when I was at the Dollar Tree, I thought, I better get some scissors and put them up. <coughs> like I'm going to remember where I put them. Uh, I got some titanium bonded Westcott 7-inch scissors. I got some Westcott all-purpose. It says for light fabrics, ribbon, and thread, which hopefully... One of these days, I'll show you a video when I've been decluttering. I actually found some projects. I forgot I started. I did. I used to do uh, quilted wall hangings for home. I, I made the granolas stuck down here. I may show you one of these days. or I, I, I'm going to try to do a sewing video. I need to get back into it. The only thing I've sewn since I got sick 10 years ago, or almost 10 years ago, no, Nine years ago, I don't know why I'm saying ten, nine years ago, September, uh, I had started some projects before that. I loved sewing, and I loved doing, uh, I do smaller projects. I did, haven't done any humongous projects or completed. I took quilting classes back years ago when I was in my early 30s. I even got a diploma from one of them because I took 12 weeks of hand quilting and machine piece and all that. And I got a diploma for that one. I went to, I think it was the Adult Learning Education Center. But I enjoyed it. So I got one pair of those. And I actually have a pair of scissors where I can trim hair or trim on Kenny or trim on the Eli. I used to cut Kenny's hair all the time, but he kind of just uses the clippers now, gets rid of it. Eli loves going to great clips, so... I'm not going to knock him out of going and doing it. He's been doing it since he's a little boy. Me and Omi cut his hair when he was real little. But he likes going and getting his hair cut. So, and it's time, trust me. But I got me a little pair of hair scissors. And I know I've got some flying around. I can't find them. I can't. I know these cut really good because I've used them for years. And in my decluttering, I have found items that came from the Dollar Tree, and one day, uh, some of the older items that I found that I've never used yet, forgot I even got them because they were locked away in a room where I just throw stuff in, uh, the room I'm cleaning out for my pantry. I may uh, show you a few of those, well, they're not vintage, but I know a lot of the uh, paperwork and stuff that I would see in, in this mix would say 2006. So they may be as far back as 2006. I don't know. Got me another mirror because I broke mine. Yeah, I bought one, left it at the camper. So when I want to do my hair and fix it, I don't want big gaps in the back. So I needed another mirror. And this one I can just hang on the wall. I'm not sure about this little, looks like it's got another little mirror in it. I thought, it, and it does. It's got a, a little mirror in it, see it? Do you see yourself, see? Yeah, another. So for a dollar, I can hang this on the wall, hopefully not 
remember to hang it on the wall, not break it again and use it. But it actually comes with this mirror and this mirror. It does. So, um, yeah. You see my mess is back there. <laughs> so, yeah, I got those. I like, I have to have a mirror when I do my hair. One thing I got, it struck me because it said coffee cozies. I used to crochet little hats with little pom-poms on it <coughs> when I was younger and sell them in the neighborhood to make extra money. My fifth grade, can you believe I actually remember, PE teacher showed me how to start crocheting and showed me how to make these hats. And that's about the only thing I think that I've ever really crocheted. And I was pretty good at it. At at making the hats. Omi, she uses, uh, she made doilies, and I've got one in here one of these days I may show you that she made probably 40 years ago. And she used the real thin, she crocheted with the real fine yarn and the real small needles. But I found this book, and it may go to a certain someone that does crochet, but it's called Coffee Cozies. Yeah, Coffee Cozies. I may even try doing it. Omi may want to take this home, and she may want to try doing it, because she really wants to start doing some crochet. And I think she says she had somebody that was going to help her with it. But this one's called Cappuccino. Got real pretty pictures, and the, um, the instructions, if you know what you're doing in crochet, and looks um, fairly simple. I love this one. They crocheted a coffee pop to go on a coffee pot. They did. Uh, I don't know what the retail value is. This looks like it says 9.99. I don't know if that's pounds or what that little price is. But coffee cozies, I thought they're just too cute. Couldn't pass this book up because even if I don't use it, only I use it. I know someone else that crochets that'll use it. Cream Carmel. Let me see here. And it gives you like instructions. So for anybody that loves to crochet, this would make a cute gift. Uh, get them a little coffee pot. Get them some coffee. Can't get the coffee pot at Dollar Tree. Get them some coffee, some creamer, some sugar. And crochet them a pretty coffee cozy. Yeah. I really like this book. I, it, it really has good pictures. It says Guild of Masters Craftman Publications. Published in 2009 for the first time. And like I said, that's the only price I really seen on it. I know these are fairly expensive. It says projects include Rainbow Rib, Cotton Candy, Bollywood Bling, Cable Classic, Coffee and Cake, uh, Cafe Society. I love this one right here, too. Can you see that? So, for anybody that loves to crochet, this would be a perfect project book, especially if you're a coffee drinker like me. I think there's something else in this bag. There is. Wet and Wild. It says it's new. It's called Water. And I put my other glasses on, so I'm going to have a harder time seeing. I can't. It's a highlighter, highlighting bar. And it's in blue. It's called Water. I thought that was pretty. I may try it. It may go somewhere else, but wet and wild. I just thought that was so pretty. So I got that. I'm gonna finish this bag. I may get these bags done before on me and them get up. No tell them. I already checked on the boys. They're both still sleeping. Like I said, I went and changed because I wasn't real comfortable in what I had on. Not that I don't love, I call it my granny dress. Just a plain linen cotton dress with buttons, had big pockets in it. And that's why I got put it on this morning because it has big pockets and I know I'm gonna be running around I have to keep stuff on me. This one doesn't have pockets. I probably have to put an apron on. Or I may have to change again. Who knows? <laughs> I'm still awake. 
it's daylight. And if the clip took, you'll see it at the beginning, and I looked out the door, and there laid my little Lexi with two of the little kittens I was talking about last night. We have uh, four out of the 13 left. Two of them have, <coughs> excuse me, homes. They just haven't went yet. So hopefully in the next few days, they'll go home. I have two in the backyard that are with uh, Thelma and Louise. Uh, they're out running around, having a good time. Cinnamon, I let her out in the day. She goes back there with them. I caught her eating with them yesterday. I did. And one of these days, I'll catch it on video. But as I showed you the scrub buddies and stuff, I also got some foam and super oxygen bathroom cleaner. It says it sprays blue. When it's done, it turns white. And it's by the home store. 12 ounces, fresh citrus scent. I love anything citrus too. So I got one of these to try in my tub, especially like I told you in the parts that I really need to get some soap scum off. But I thought, let's see if this works. And for a dollar, even if it doesn't do that, it's still going to be a good cleaning product on lighter stuff. I will use it. You can use it probably in sinks. Yeah, showers, tubs, toilets, and sinks. I told you. <laughs> Before I even read it, I already knew you could use it in sinks. I about dropped it. And it's a Greenbrier product. So I got one of those. Got some more tile kitchen bags. 80% more, it says. 14 bags, 13 gallons. Has the loop tie closure. It's essentials. And I just bought a box of those to have them. I did. I've got some in the camper that I bought. I don't want to take them out of there. I just wanted an extra box for the house. I got my husband some assured refreshing mint mouthwash. 24 ounces for a dollar. I will tell you, one time, long time ago, I said, I'm going to uh, check the price of the mouthwash at Dollar Tree versus the one I get at Walmart. I think I pay like two eighty something for 48 ounces. So it's definitely a better buy getting it at the Dollar Tree. Plus, with it being smaller bottles, they're a little bit easier to handle, especially if you're like me and you've got arthritis. I've got rheumatoid arthritis while my hands are kind of naughty. But the smaller bottles really uh, are more maneuverable for me, and I'm sure they are my husband too, so I got him some mouthwash. Uh, I got a Cooking Concepts Mix and Serve Container. Microwave and dishwasher safe. It's a Greenbrier product. It is. So I figure if I need something and mix, need to mix something up sometimes and put little spices in, it has a little liquid and stuff, I can just toss it in here. It's a frivolous purchase. I really didn't have to have it, but I thought it was cute and I got it so I could show you, but I can use it. I can also use it. And it's got a pour spout. I say if you're like cooking for one, you, you can probably put your pancake batter mix in here, shake it up, pour it out. Uh, if you're doing an omelet, you could put all your stuff in here and shake it out and pour it out. That's my thought anyway. I don't know. Have y'all got other thoughts, you I, ideas that you can think of to do with this little container? Yes. Well, I got those two bags cleaned out. I got, still got more here, but I need to go feed my animals. They're waiting on me at the front door. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I'm a little bit more lively than I was earlier. 5.30 came early. It's not even, I, it might be 8 o'clock now. I don't know. Nobody's stirring but my animals, and as you've seen, they're just laying waiting on me. But until next time, we'll talk soon.